guys. Uh, sorry if I look tired. I am really tired. I just got home from the airport from seeing Josh um, graduate from basic training and now it sucks because I had to leave him and I'm really sad and so I need something to cheer me up um, even though I would have waited but I really want to open this and it is the moon box. The August moon box. I forgot what month it was. The August moon box. Um, which is moon and yeah I just don't want to wait to open it so I'm filming right now <laughs> so let me open this first so my cats miss me so they're gonna be uh, no don't knock it down <laughs> they're gonna be here I was gonna say I forgot what the theme was for this month but I think it's goddess energy First glance, this is like the oracle card reading, I'll say following my truth. That's so cool, the owl. Believing in and following my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empowered life. Perfect. I love the bat. And today, since I'm kind of in a hurry because I'm really hungry and really tired, I'm probably just gonna like read along, like find the things and read about them at the same time. So the first thing on top, other than the oracle reading, is this artwork and it's the triple goddess and soul isn't okay. He loves it. Do you love it? Nope. Don't, don't knock it over. The triple goddess, like the triple moon goddess. Buddy. Okay. 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 Thank you. Whoops. The maiden, the mother, and the crone. I think I talked about that in the last video. How that could be a cycle for some people. But it's not everyone's life. But I still, I like this idea. And I love the artwork. It's like three generations of women around a tree. And the inside is purple, a deep royal purple, which is the same color that Josh's flight wore in graduation for their airman's run, because they are the knights. Hold on, Sully, you got a tangle. There we go. That's weird, right? He gets these tangles around his neck. We've got purple frilly floofies. Floof, 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 floof. The most fun part of the box for a cat. Sit down. Lay down. Lay down, bud. I can't see myself. <laughs> they can't see. The first herb is raspberry. Raspberry leaf. Yeah. Raspberry leaf is known to protect those that carry a loving intention. It's been a great companion to the pure and innocent. As you open yourself to the world and break down barriers that you've created to push others away, keep raspberry leaf close. This herb can be placed in a sachet that can be carried with you or simply included in your incense or altar blends. Gender is feminine, planet is Venus, element is water. The magical properties are protection and love. Ooh, the next herb says queen of flowers. The Queen of Flowers is tied to the association with emotions. Rose petals have been deemed the Queen of Flowers, used in love potions and sachets since the beginning of herbal remedies. Rose petals have been a great companion when connecting to the beauty and love that we seek within our lives. As a revered attraction flower, we use these petals to enhance the love that we have for ourselves. Place them around a self-care altar, in a tea, or in a bath to bring the essence of love and beauty into your surroundings. Allow the queen of flowers to remind you of the pure and natural energy of the goddess. Gender is feminine, planet Venus, element water, deities are Eros, Cupid, Harpocrates, Isis, Demeter, or Demeter, I always forget. The magical properties are love, psychic power, love again, <laughs> and divination. Just in case you didn't know, love. Then the next thing I see is a third herb, 
And it's Jasmine, I'm pretty sure. Jasmine. Jasmine buds. Jasmine is a beautifully fragrant, fragrant flower that assists in attracting spiritual love rather than physical. This is a great herb to add to your magical mixtures to bring you closer to a more purposeful relationship with the goddess energy. Allow its energies of beauty to fill your practice with inner peace and contentment. The gender is feminine, which I'm imagining most of these things are going to be feminine gender. The planet is the moon. Aww. The element is water. And the magical properties are spiritual love, money, and prophetic dreams. The next... <laughs> Hi, soul. The next thing I see is bath salts that say, I think it says the maiden. It has this beautiful artwork on it. Soul. Okay. Can you see it? <laughs> The Maiden Goddess Sacred Salt. You can visualize a bright white light consuming your aura and expanding around you. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you clear your mind and visualize this bright white aura, imagine yourself charging your internal magnet and repositioning your compass. The Maiden promises you new beginnings, youthful enthusiasm, and expansion. Know that where you are is perfect. I love this so much. Okay. We have enchanted the sacred salt with vanilla, jasmine, and white tea essential oils, as well as rose petals, jasmine buds, and marigold herb. And always remember that if, um, if you don't have a bathtub or if you can't use this in a bathtub, which I've lived in a bunch of places with really crappy bathtubs, you can always do like a foot soak or a hand soak in a small bowl, so. Or if you have one of those foot spas. Let's go with the candle. I'm like throwing purple fluffies everywhere. Soul's so excited. Get it, get it. All right, so this is gonna be the Goddess Within Enchanted Spell Candle. They said they've handcrafted the spell candle with the purpose of awakening the goddess within and allowing yourself to connect to her powerful energy. It is so important that during this time you cleanse your body and soul of all low vibrations and negativity. Hi, Baki. Are you coming over here for some... Oh, this is so pretty. For some goddess energy? Can you get out of my way, please? Watch out. Thank you. Look at this. This looks so cool. Wow. Okay, I love this. A lot of the other ones have been glittery so far, but this has like herbs and petals on it. And as always, it's wrapped with like a spell or mantra. It depends on the month. And it's one of those rolled candles. It's beautiful. This candle has been rolled in the petals of the enchanted rose as well as anointed with jasmine essential oil. We have also included a special mixture of our passion oil into the rolling of this candle. It's accompanied by a spell from our Book of Shadows that we recommend reciting out loud three times while burning your candle. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the Freya, which is F-R-E-Y-J-A, Freya, Magical Anointing Oil, created with the intention of enhancing the passion that flows through your life. One of the most admirable qualities of Freya, among many, is the abundant, vigorous, and unapologetic passion she creates within herself. Ooh, this is awesome. It's like filled. Soul sniffing it. That's cool. So that makes Freya competent and unrestrained. As we connect to the goddess energy, we start to feel more than we think allowing ourselves to become more connected with the life force that drives beauty and purpose into our lives. As you anoint yourself and your sacred items with this magical oil, visualize the iridescent ripples of passion sweeping through your spirit. We recommend anointing your skin, candles, or jewelry with this oil so that you may, may become more in tune with the natural goddess from within. It acts as a magnet to the beauty lying within and without. They've enchanted the oil with jasmine rose and white tea essential oils and have included jasmine buds, 
rose petals, and leaf of gold as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz, said to personify oneness into your aura. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa, it looks like there's pyrite or like gold leaf in here. Did I even say that? That's a cool surprise. See that shiny piece? <laughs> Soul sees it. It's got like gold leaf. It's beautiful. This is so cool because I'm way more of a feeler than a thinker. <laughs> In general. I like this box a lot. Mm, the incense. Why does Soul think that this is a toy? Smells good. That smells good. I'm sorry that this video is just my cats. <laughs> but that's my life. And I miss them, so I can't kick them out. Oh, what I was gonna say is it's cool that there's so many rose themed things because when I came home to my garden, um, three new roses have bloomed. So I have like a mini rose bush from Josh from um, Valentine's Day and I planted it and it's beautiful. Wisdom of Amber Incense. This is good. It's pretty like heavy smelling, but very, very feminine, like perfumey. I don't know. Let's see. It's to inspire your magical state of mind during your goddess connectivity rituals. This musky and floral scent of amber is a great facilitator in seeking truth and wisdom during any rituals that deal with love or desire. As the smoke of this incense floats through your surroundings, allow the correspondence of fire and air to enhance your connection to the goddess and the love that resides within her beautiful energy. Right, Sully? Let's see what's next. A spray. Okay, so the first box that we got, which was the June one, we got a spray and I used it all up and I loved it so much. So, oh no, it kind of leaked a little bit. So I'm really excited to have another spray. Ooh. I think the spray says, come to me, <laughs> but it got leaky, so who knows. Come to me, magical aura spray. It's a powerful statement when working intentional magic. This intention itself sends your power into the universe bound to return. We've, we've created this come to me magical aura spray with the intention of attracting positivity into your life and surroundings. As you carry this spray with you, mist your aura and the space around you to create magnetic and attractive energy. Visualize your aura sparkling and undeniable. We've created this spray with patchouli, mm, I love patchouli, amber and white tea oils. We have also included a special mixture of our come to me magical oil into this spray from our personal cabinet of witchery. I want to put this like over here so it doesn't get everywhere but it smells good so that's a good thing okay it looks like we have three things left I always try to open the like different I mean the um reoccurring things first and then the different things last like the reoccurring oil and salt and incense Okay, this box got a little bit leaked on from the spray, but it's okay. It smells good. Everything's purple. <gasps> oh, this is cool. Look at her. A babe. Okay. Crescent moon goddess pendant with necklace. Okay, let me show you first. Look at this babe. Wow. <laughs> Baki almost clawed it. Ooh, that's so cool. We are so honored to be able to include this custom moon goddess pendant, specifically made for the witch's moon. As she waxes and wanes, she's reborn again and again. The moon goddess blesses up us with the potential to connect to our ability and rejuvenate and enhance our lives each and every day. That's so cool because that's kind of what I think about yoga, how you can... Um, die at the end with Savasana and then be reborn. This symbol is a beautiful representation of the power and control we have within ourselves. 
As you anoint this pendant with aromatic and beautiful oils, state your intentions and program your energy. Know that as you go about your day, you are blessed with the flowing pure energy of the goddess within yourself. Let this pendant be your token of self-power and confidence as you create your surroundings. I will. Ooh. I accidentally just read it. Oh, that's pretty though. So in this little box, I mean box, in this little purple bag is a crystal and it's an amethyst and I actually really love this the most because it's not dyed and so it's not made to be darker or anything. It's just like in its raw form. That's so pretty. Let's see. The beauty of amethyst has been prized for its connection to the divine for thousands of years. I've talked about amethyst on my channel, but I'm really happy to get a piece right now. I always am. It's worn as a symbol of royalty and beauty. Amethyst is a must-have stone for any witch or practitioner of magic. Or person that wants it, because it's lovely. We have placed a specific stone to this collection to enhance one's self-esteem and courage. We know as fact that when we are placed in a position of trusting ourselves and the goddess energy within us, we become an unstoppable force. Allow the beautiful energies of this stone to easily guide you through the process of knowing as you begin to connect to the feminine divine. The amethyst cluster is a great stone to perform ritual in nature alongside the sacred mother earth. And the affirmation that they have here um, for you is, I connect with the sacred goddess energy that resides within me at all times. I am the source of my beauty and create without effort. All right, everybody. And other than the parchment paper, there's just one more thing. Because you get the extra parchment on the back of this. This is big, by the way. Um, like, are you kidding? Ooh. Okay, this is about to be so cool. I'm freaking out. <gasps> you guys! Oh my gosh! Look at her boobs! <laughs> Yo, what? This is so cool. Wait, okay. So that is a triple moon goddess with a pentacle and the spiral. And then look at this side the tree and the moons. This is me. Hey. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a statue. A whole statue in a box. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm so excited! Ah! Okay, we've included a beautifully symbolic goddess statue in this collection to bring and sustain goddess energy into your sacred place. This powerful and graceful altar, altar goddess has on one side a leafless tree representing the connection rooted into the earth, blossoming towards regeneration. This tree is surrounded by the aspects of the goddess. The waxing moon is the maiden, the full moon is the mother, and the waning moon is the crone. Oh, I love how they have that though. Okay. These simple symbols represent the beautiful wisdom that is the cycle of life. On the other side of the goddess is placed the sacred spiral, representing the claiming of our deepest self-knowledge and personal power. As the spiral starts within and expands without, let its symbology remind you to dig within yourself to release your most natural and gifted powers, bringing them out into the universe. This is a gentle reminder that we must first work to release and allow the energies of the goddess that already lie within us to be activated and present. As the goddess joins her arms together, using the drawing down of the moon gesture, she also holds above her the pentacle within the triple moon goddess symbol. The common quote that is associated with this spiral goddess is, she who creates from her own source. Let this message <laughs> resonate with you as you begin your daily journey to enlightenment and purposeful accomplishment. Allow its energies to influence, to, to ease the flow of magic and passion that flows through your being. So, this was the goddess energy box. Soul loves the purple frillies the most. It's his favorite part. That's his review. Oh!
<laughs> and I love this box a lot. I love all the purple. I love the crystal. I love everything. This is amazing that this is included. This box is like 50 something dollars a month, which is expensive, which is why I waited like honestly at least a year or two. I don't remember how long I've been thinking about getting this, but at least like a year before getting it um, because I couldn't afford it. it. You know, it's not something that I need and I could only really barely afford my bills. So um, the fact that I've started to get this for myself now, it means a lot when I get these each month. It's like the one time that I'm getting something for myself as a gift. So whether or not you're a witch or a Christian or a hippie or something, to me these boxes are incredible and you don't even have to be any kind of like practitioner to like them. Like honestly, if you take a bath, these are bath salts, like it's, it's the same thing if you wanted to go to the store and it's created with such beautiful intention um, and it's so personalized. And the oils, you know, people use oils all the time. I usually use them on my wrist so far. I haven't really anointed anything. I don't really know as, as much about that. Candles, obviously everyone loves candles and incense. Is, I mean, not everyone loves incense because sometimes it's too strong, um, but it depends and it's just good to make your house smell good. And the herbs I feel like are the thing that would more likely fall into like the witch side of this box because depending on what they include, some people wouldn't use them for anything like cooking wise. Um, but anyway, not to like lighten the side of this, the magic side of the box. I think that these boxes are incredible for practicing witches or, or Wiccans or Pagans, things like that, because it's a way of creating this, this collection and building up some things, um, that are really hard to find and can be overwhelming to find by yourself, just going out and looking for things. I know that starting off, I mean, you don't need anything other than yourself when it comes to magic, you don't need a thing. But if you'd like a little collection, it's really nice to do this because going to a store, honestly, for me, is overwhelming because I want everything that they have there. And then I end up leaving with nothing or it all costs too much. Because honestly, $50 would only get you a couple things from a store. Whereas here, it gets you this whole box and you can start collecting oils or start collecting candles, things like that. So, anyway, that is the August Witch's Moon box. Go check it out. It's a subscription box. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. That would be amazing, but this YouTube is pretty small so far. Either way, we got some new subscribers just this past weekend while I was away, and I'm so thankful for you guys. You are amazing. Thank you. It means, like, everything to me and to Josh that you guys would even watch us on here. Um and we love making things. Hopefully we can be together again soon. It makes it a lot easier to actually do stuff. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm really hungry. I gotta play with these cats because they have missed me and I gotta go to sleep. So anyway, bye guys. I hope you uh, love the rest of your day. <laughs> bye.